Chante. Emily and James, good morning to both of you. Right here behind me, 14th and Farnham will be the backdrop for this march right here in Omaha. But will the momentum we saw in 2017 carry over into 2018? Well, according to organizers, it will. A rally cry echoed across the U.S., passing through the heartland in the days and weeks following President Donald Trump's inauguration. Uh, last year, I think that people weren't sure if it was a moment or a movement. And after the, the year we've experienced uh, in 2017, I think it's becoming more of a movement. I think last year the focus was more so about a protest, and this year it's about how do we move forward, what do we need to do as a community. Organizers believe there are still more important issues up for discussion. That's why they're planning to march downtown Saturday. Well, the thing for 2018 is march on the polls. While demonstrations protested the current administration, the group backing the march said it's about increasing voter turnout on important key issues that matter most. Some of those are reproductive justice, immigration reform, education. We want to make sure that everyone has a seat at the table. In a time where divisions run deep, these women say a seat at the table extends to those who may have voted differently, even going so far as to call the march here nonpartisan. No one party owns women. Knowing it's not easy to set aside differences, supporters for the march want demonstrators to focus on this. When we focus on our shared experience instead of the things that divide us, then we can be united as a group. And the march is scheduled for Saturday. That's tomorrow at 1 p.m. Again, right here behind me at 14th and Farnham. Live downtown, Shantae Passmore, 3 News Now, this morning.